Oh boy, we are in big trouble. When I was coming up, I took uh, computer classes as young as ninth grade, and this was back in the 80s, learned BASIC and call it COBOL, but it was C and then C++. And my uh, one of my uncles was an electrical, is an electrical engineer, and he taught me more about two-way communication than school ever did. Um, he actually developed something which I probably, anyway, um, the, when the smartphone came out and I saw that they had coupled that military GPS technology with it, I was kind of freaked out, so I never got one. And then June of this year, I started doing a little experiment. I use MapQuest a lot for my job, and it always asks if you want to share your location, and I always say no. And so I, I thought one day, well, let's see what happens. So I shared my location, and it was ridiculously far away from me because I use a hardwired DSL modem for my Internet connection. And so I repeated this experiment over and over and over, all through June, a couple in July, a few in August. And then I was on the phone talking with one of my associates, and I asked her to do it from her smartphone. And she was at a friend's house, and I kind of blacked out some of the information, so, you know, it's because it's nobody's business, but it pinpointed her location, like, exactly pinpointed it. So I confirmed all of my suspicions about the the way our smartphones work and I so I compiled this information and then I thought well I'll try to make a video about it but what does that mean and then I'm sure most of you know that China has a new social credit score system and if you're doing good they pat you on the back and if you're not doing good in their eyes then they they punish you and so then I put those two together and if we allow it it's going to come to the U.S. They can't necessarily do it to me because I don't have a smartphone. I don't use my card to buy stuff. I pay cash for almost as, as much as I can. I'd pay silver coin if I had it. But anyway, um, so if you just take a look and, uh, you know, if you see, you see the graphics as I'm yapping, you'll see that if we allow this to go on in the U.S., it will come here. And it will be a dystopian future and a dystopian nightmare. And if you have children, gen grandchildren, you should be alarmed. I hope you are. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I like reading your comments if you want to leave them. If you like and share it, we can get this out to more people. Thanks a lot and have a great day.